Good evening. Welcome to the Alan Osborne Show. We're going to talk about the BCC show and some other things tonight. And mostly I want to really cover the tax issue. Okay. We got some problems in this county and I want to talk about some of the things. If you haven't watched my uh, two shows about uh, uh, let's get it on and sexual healing, then you don't know what your local elected government's involved in. So the bottom line is they've got several new lawsuits. They're spending millions of year. They're failing to hold resp uh, developers responsible. And I'll explain some of this since some other local people are just freaking stupid and can't read English. We'll get into that today. But, you know, we got a problem. They've got some people and I'm not necessarily saying taxes are a bad thing, but we've got enough tax here. And I want you to get this. Our BCC basically is going to have about double the money they had four years ago just because of property value increase. Ad valorem sales tax. Okay. Millage rate. Stuff we all pay if we're property owners. Okay. Tourists who aren't property owners don't pay at pay this property tax they just don't they may say they pay it indirectly but they don't and the bottom line is it's not a one cent sales tax it it's one cent out of every dollar it's one percent if you spend a hundred thousand dollars a year would you like to throw the extra county if that's your income and your family's input into this economy two working people and some kids you're throwing 50 grand each into this economy. Would you like to throw the BCC an extra thousand just because the developers and the BCC cannot read? Speaking of not being able to read, can I have y'all? Do y'all know Robert Nelson? Let me introduce you to Robert Nelson. I know Captain Cranium. Jesus Christ, Robert. What's inside there? Oh. Maybe this is what it is. My opinion is this is Captain Shit for Brains. Okay, this guy is, is, is the inventor of such genius slogans as I fix computers for his shop. Now, they put him on the TDC, and Robert does this for attention. I don't think Robert really has any friends, in my opinion, but he's willing to lick the ass of any elected official from what I've observed over the years, he unsuccessfully ran for the office because he was an idiot, and he continues to put anything social. And you people that think, "Oh, he's a Republican," he's really not because you can say you can say you're a, a priest, but if you're taking schoolboys in the back room, you ain't a priest. You're a criminal and a pedophile, in my opinion, not a priest. This is Captain Cranium. If he knew what he thought he does, uh -huh, I'm worse. And you know. If listen, we need infrastructure. We need this, you know, and somebody's going to pay it, and the tourists pay most of it. No, dumbass, we all pay most of it, and we're paying for the BCC's indiscretion. We have horrible leadership, and this is what the problem is. But you know who doesn't understand it besides Robert? You know who doesn't? This guy. Realtor Bo Wills, who talked a bunch of shit to me, Bo. So you want it on the shows? Here it is. Look, I kind of befriended Bo because he said he wanted to start a, a real interview process for candidates about issues going on. And I sympathize. Good. Another participant. But I believe all I was doing is getting a realtor looking for attention in business, Bo. I just say you freaking lied to me because here's the deal. Bo says he doesn't understand the Sandist Destin issues and is going to do a series about me. Well, Bo, I've been going to county meetings since 96. You probably didn't have pubic hair then. So consider before you lecture me on what I don't know. But here's the thing. I gave Bo the documents. And here's what Bo and he gets this shit from Danny Lidwell because you know, this is the Danny we all know, but this sucker was going around begging for votes and begging for help and lying to everybody before he sat in that seat. He looked, he lied so much, his teeth fell out, probably. Where are they? Anyway, going back to Lidewell, Lidewell seemed to have recruited Bo. Now, I offered 
to do interviews with Bo and bring up my position. And yes, Bo, I know I'm an asshole sometimes. See how much of an asshole I am, Bo? But you know, when you tell somebody that you want some information because you're going to go, and I'm putting Bo on all these emails. If you want to see the emails Bo has seen, send me your address at 28henrique at gmail.com, like I've always said, and I'll include you on the emails to county officials and Bo and other people. But here's what Bo doesn't understand. Bo says, Alan, you're beating your chest in the wind about something that happened a long time ago. And Danny Gladwell says, I'm not responsible for what happened 30 years ago. Okay. In the past two years, we've approved a condominium in Sandus. And I want the public to know, while they're asking for infrastructure, I'm going to give you two examples, one Sandestin and one not Sandestin. And Bo knows both of them, but he's not going to ask a public official something real hard because if he looks foolish, he doesn't think they'll give him another interview. So he's willing to grovel and kiss their ass. I'm not talking about their opinion, but the fact is, Bo, I gave you information and gave you proof. You couldn't dispel it. What kind of proof did I give you, Bo? Florida Board of Engineers, letters from the state saying they're non-compliant, letters from their own PhD. But somehow Bo thinks I'm trying to hide for the issue. Secondly, sometimes I post under a screen name. Why do I do this? Well, my show is the Alan Osborne Show, so I don't think I'm trying to hide who I am, Bo. I do it because all you freaking Karens out there who can't handle the truth, some of them went so far as to hack my real sites because they don't want me telling you the truth. Look, and Bo's one of those people, oh, let's just go along to get along. Well, what the hell, Bo, do you think us got in this place? Realtors, developers, and the BCC not following the rules. So, Bo, you don't understand Sandestin. Let me help you out, Bo. There's an ordinance. You know ordinance, Bo? You know the law? And it says, thou shalt not pipe water into the bay. I publish pictures of water being piped into the bay from the Sandestin development order from county property, Bo. And it's happening right now, Bo. Get your ass out of bed and go down there to Mac Bayou and look at it. It's been on shows. That didn't happen 30 years ago. It happened right now. And the county spent millions of your dollars. And, and Danny and the whole BCC, they know every bit of this. They know their own PhD told them they were doing the wrong standard. There's a video about it. It's, it's in the, the state wrote them a letter from Different agencies said, you're using the wrong standard. You're breaking the law. They also have not done their annual reports on traffic and stuff. And Tony Anderson, he knows how this works because at one time he changed the definition of a 40-year-old development order just so the developer could continue because they had broken the rules. Tony Anderson's answer changed the definition. So you know something, Bo? I call bullshit on you and bullshit on your show. Don't say what's the big idea. What's the big idea with you? Why is your show so boring? And why do you keep asking the same damn questions that nobody's scared to answer? Won't you ask them for something truthful? Won't you ask them why they can't pr disprove anything I say, Bo? Bo, you have the freaking emails. But Bo can't understand. Listen, Bo. The other law says that when Sandestin's in noncompliance in the DRI, it says the local government shall not issue permits. Guess what, Bo? Potato chip bowl man, our county acting county attorney, and these guys, not 30 years ago, issued permits with traffic not in compliance, with letters from the state saying your staff's using the wrong standard and so is the development order and an NOPC that's due, and they know it. How do we know it? We just did one in 2017 for open space. So why doesn't it require the same procedures? You know why? Because they don't want you to know the truth. Because in Walton County, it's, it's just a show. That's all it is. We're putting on a show for everybody. The BCC wants you to believe that they know how to do everything right. But here's what the real BCC is. Don't touch me. Hey, Just Ray. a bunch of ass hey, They think they're big rock singers above the law. 
Well, we're big rock singers and we're huge spenders of every dime they get. They lie to the public and they lie to themselves at every single chance they get. They got all kind of thrills and take them all in the frills and the thrill we'll never know. Is the thrill that they got when they went down the road and got rid of all our dough. Where's our dough gonna give you a patch for the future? I'm not gonna tell you what we're gonna use it for. When we tell the public to bend over, that's right. That's right, they got some freaky people out there. I got a freaky old lady named Yeah, that's right. It's just the cover of the Rolling Stones. It's all a show for the BBC. See. And we, like I said, Robert was their cheerleader, and we we thought Bo was legitimate. He's as legitimate as Buchanan was. You heard from him again. Where's Chaz? That's bullshit. Listen, people, the message is clear. And Bo, if you don't get it, too damn bad. But I offered to be on Bo's show. I gave him the documents, and his answer is, you're just too aggressive, Alan. Well, go sell some freaking property and t waste other people's time. This guy is, what's the big idea? He's just trying to promote himself and his career. And hell, I'm trying to get to the truth, Bo. You know, and that's why I told you today on the, on the phone, F you, dude, F you. You and this, this Democrat in a conservative claimed party, no, this is a socialist right here, in my opinion, and I've seen them. That's what I did for the for most of my life was hunt terrorists and socialists. Listen, you can think what you want of me, but most of my life I spent dedicated to the Constitution that we'd all be treated equally, and we aren't. We got the good old boys. That's right. And what they want to do, this is what they look like. These are good old boys. Every damn one of them equally worthless. Every one of them, these are your good old boys. And they think you're stupid. But at the last election, we showed them that, no, we're not stupid. We put Don in there. On the Alan Osborne show, we want accountability. Now, I make it funny so y'all will watch. But America is failing. Quit being in a group. Be in a group called being American. Everybody can be in that group. Everybody. It costs nothing to love your country and want fairness for everybody. It costs not a penny. It's easy to do the right thing and expensive and hard to cover up your lies. And we've seen that, haven't we? Because this is what you get. This man doesn't know he works for us and he's accountable for us. He doesn't know it at all. The reason I trash his family is because his family got involved in politics and trashed me. There's people and families out there in politics that have never said a word about me, so I don't bring them into it. But you know, an eye for an eye. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, this is what corruption and non-accountability looks like. They want 40 more million. They just got an extra hundred. Now, Bo Wills wants to put down Dr. John Ward. Bo, how many meetings have you been to where you were an advocate for something and they didn't even listen to you? Now, Bo has gone to some meetings. I ain't going to say he hadn't. He's gone to way more than some of these fools. But the problem is, Bo, I just see you as a realtor. That's what you are. Because you said you wanted to be, the, to, you told me personally, Bo, that you wanted to expose all this. You want me to send you all this stuff if it's so true. You were actually calling me out and trying to be polite. But I saw it, but I gave you the info because I'm telling the truth. This is a propaganda guy. He is. That's why he lost a bunch of elections. But this is what we've got. We give them this sales tax, and it's going to be a license for more noncompliance. And here's your last example, Bo. Listen to this, people. When we had infrastructure planned for the South End, much of the county was designated two to one conservation residential, including down there by the crazy church, as I call it, uh, the Christian International. That was the setup. They took two to one conservation land. And because some people said, oh, it's already tore up, they saw, well, well, must be in the Walton County Handbook of Planning. Oh, 
property wasn't used as it was supposed to. So we'll divide it up and use it another way it wasn't supposed to, where the infrastructure, roads, schools, playgrounds, everything else is not ready for it. And these morons, these deputy dogs, these Barney Fife's and their minions, Tony Corman and their and their for hired conflicted attorney, you know, they told him, they told this guy told the BCC to approve more Sandestin development. And he'd already and and this guy right here had already represented people that had a business interest. Folks, this is wrong. And this guy's never going to admit it. And this guy just wants some attention and somebody to pat his head. And these people just want you to believe their lies. The BCC, but not on the Alan Osborne show. We're going to talk about the truth because y'all know it. Look how thousands of you are watching my shows and downloading it and share it. Why? Because it's just the simple truth. And truthfully, I don't give a shit. Not at all. It does not bother me. The last, the last thing I want to do is give some shout outs to my viewers, just so you know how broad they are. Quick shout out, and then we're going to wrap it up on the Alan Osborne show. Like we always do is you can't make this shit up. And you can't make this shit up. Not at all. And so we're going to throw out a, to my viewers, I rarely read from something, but I'll read from this. All right. To my viewers out there, Davey Alford in the Funiac Springs, Doug Manning in the Uchiana Valley, Tim Alford in Ponce de Leon, John Bray in Uchiana, Stacy English in Santa Rosa Beach, Mike Mosin in the Funiac Springs, and Danny Taylor, you are recognized on the Alan Osborne Show as people who want the damn truth. And that's the way it was. Let's see. The 20th of October in the land of corruption, corrupt wall. Call your attorneys. Your state attorneys, call DeSantis, write them. Tell them you want enforcement because you can't make this shit up. Y'all keep them straight now. You hear?